everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a bake with me and a Q&A. So today I'm going to be making brownies. The recipe I'm using is by Cafe Delights. This is the best brownie recipe. My brothers love it. And along the way I'm just going to be answering some questions you guys submitted on my Instagram at Ella Daisy. So let's hop into it. First things first, I need to preheat my oven to 180 degrees. Then you need to melt one cup of salted butter. Now I'm going to melt this in the microwave. While that's melting, I'm going to answer a few questions. So my first one is favorite childhood food. Ooh, that's a hard one. I don't know. I definitely loved cereal as a kid, like all cereals, even the bad and the good, like Rice Krispies, Fruit Loops, uh, Sultana Brand even. I loved cereal. My favorite flower is probably a peony or like wild daisies. I love daisies. And what's my favorite song at the moment? Probably, I'm one of those people whose favorite song is constantly changing. So at the moment it is probably, honestly, I love all Doja Cat's newest album. Um, I love Taylor Swift. So I don't know if I have a favorite song just kind of like upbeat kind of music is definitely my favorite. Butter is now melted. Now in a large bowl, we're gonna add our melted butter, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one and a quarter cups of white sugar, one packed cup of brown sugar. While I'm whisking this, I'm going to answer some more questions. Something you really want to accomplish in the next year. Well, obviously I really want to focus on my recovery. I would love to be fully recovered. Um, I'm also going back to school full time, so I want to focus on that. And definitely my friendships, uh, they've definitely slipped over the past years have been unwell so i'd really want to get back to my good friendships netflix series recommendations okay so i love the vampire diaries i've seen it all all the seasons like three times i think i'm currently re-watching jane the virgin and it actually is really good so definitely recommend that pretty little liars is good i love gossip girl i've watched that twice i just love shows of like a lot of seasons so i can really get invested you is really good. I know a lot of people didn't like the last season three, the most recent one, but I actually really liked it. I started watching The Handmaid's Tale, but it is really dark, so I couldn't keep watching, but it was really good if you are in a good enough place to watch it. So they're probably my top recommendations. If anybody has any others, I'd love to hear them. Once it's all mixed up and looks like this, we can move on to the next step. Now you wanna add four eggs. Two, three, four. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a pinch of salt. And whisk that up again. How long have I been struggling? And when did I start recovery? So I was diagnosed in 2019 at the start of the year so that's been what three years now and uh, I was in forced recovery a lot um, through like hospital and inpatient and that kind of thing but I've kind of just recently started actual recovery uh, about two three months ago now would I like a second dog I would love a second dog but you know I feel like 
I love Teddy so much. Like, how could I ever love something as much as I love Teddy? She's literally my favorite thing in the whole world. And I wouldn't want her to feel jealous or sad. But then I'd love her to have a friend, so I would. But I just love Teddy so much. Like, I'm not in any rush. Tips to manage comparison and jealousy and recovery. Okay, this is something I definitely do struggle with. I think it's just really important to realize that everybody's on their own path. And I know it's cliche to say, but seriously, every recovery journey is completely different. Um, and like, it's your life. Like, worrying about other people and feeling jealous about how ill other people are is not gonna help your recovery. You only get one life. What's the point in wasting it worrying about others? Like, you just need to focus on yourself and really prioritize you. And you never really not truly know how anyone else is feeling. You're gonna be with you for your whole life. Like, you're the only person that's gonna be consistent. So you need to just, as hard as it is, just come to terms with the fact that you come first and it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing, you need to focus on you. Okay, so now my mix is all runny like this. I'm gonna add our dry ingredients. We need one cup of plain flour, one cup of cocoa powder, and a third cup of chocolate chips. I'm swapping over to a spatula now to fold this all together. Three most positive things recovery has given you. Uh, number one, definitely freedom. Before I was watched 24 seven, I wasn't allowed to do anything. I had to be certain places all the time. And now that I've actually started choosing recovery, I have more freedom to hang out with people, do things, be away from home, that kind of thing, which is really awesome. Number two, just like being able to concentrate on things more. I still struggle a lot, but it's so much better and easier to do. Than before number three relationships i during my darkest days in my eating disorder i couldn't communicate with anyone properly i never saw my friends i was always yelling at my family and now i'm finally starting to rebuild those friendships and relationships with family members and things which is really awesome dream career i've always been very entrepreneurish from a really young age so I would definitely like to start my own sort of something or join that kind of area I definitely think I want to do something in the mental health area as that's such a large part of my life and I would want to help as many people as I possibly can tips for people just starting recovery okay number one getting rid of mirrors uh, wearing baggy clothes to start off those are easy things to do next writing down why you want to recover things that your eating disorder is taken away from you that kind of thing so you can look back on it and remember why you're doing this and why you want to keep going set yourself little goals and things to achieve uh for me that really helped like having things to work towards like some an event was coming up in the weekend or something so i'd make a goal of trying to eat enough that i'd be able to actually go to that and those kind of little things just trying to have little things to look forward to in the days i find that really helpful as it kind of makes me want to get out of bed and keep fighting for things okay now my brownie batter is complete ready to cook gonna line my baking pan i've just got a nine inch pan here I'm just cutting the corners of the paper to make it lay flatter. Now I'm going to pour the brownie batter in. Now I'm just going to spread it around and make it all flat. And sprinkle the last few chocolate chips on top. And now they're ready to go in the oven. Now we're going to set a timer for 30 minutes. And then when that's up, we will stab them with a skewer. And if it comes out clean then we can take them out if not just leave them in for additional 10 minutes and just keep checking on them time for the dishes
While those are baking, I'm gonna answer a few more questions. What's your favorite quality about yourself? I really struggle with uh, complimenting myself and being nice to myself. So I'm gonna try and answer this one. Um, I'll probably say how caring I am towards other people. I really value relationships with people. I always try to go above and beyond, which is a blessing and a curse. But yeah, I care very deeply about people. I have a lot of empathy. What inspired you to create your Instagram account and your YouTube account? Well, I started my Instagram account first. I started it mainly to follow other people in recovery and stuff because I have my own personal Instagram, but I didn't want people who knew me to see I was recovering loads of random people. So I originally started it just to be like incognito and just follow loads of other people. But then I realized how helpful those kind of videos on posts and those kind of things were. And I thought I would love to help other people. Like I said, I have a lot of empathy and I just want to help people. So I started posting little quotes and stuff. Oh, hello, Ted. Gonna say hi. Mm. So I just started posting quotes and stuff and DMing with people. And then it kind of evolved from there. And now I post lots of random reels. Okay, post loads of little reels and little infograph things. I love making them, it's so much fun. And I just love getting comments and messages from you guys reading them and they really help you. And then I've always loved filming. Like even as like a little girl, I'd make loads of little videos. I actually used to make stop motion videos with all my little like Barbies and toys and do little skits and I would show them to my mum and stuff and everyone thought they were amazing, but probably just because they didn't want to upset me. So I did those just decided I would love to make my own videos. So I just started posting videos and I love it. One of your biggest achievements, recovery, recovery related or just in general? Recovery related, probably when I went to Wellington with my, uh, my brother and my mom and I went out and got ice cream with them. That was definitely a big deal. And in my normal life, I don't know, I don't really, have any amazing achievements like I've got awards and stuff at school but like they're not amazing I don't really know what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given I talk about this quote quite a lot but uh, nothing changes if nothing changes that's definitely something I really love and think about a lot just like in recovery, if you're just doing the same old thing again and again, you're not going to get anywhere and you're not going to change. It's all about making change to see positive change. Also, just like you only get one life and what's the point of wasting it? Like, like that quote on that TED talk, um, life's too short to weigh your cornflakes. I love that because it really is. And at the end of the day on your deathbed, no one's going to care what pants size you wore or how little you ate at that one Christmas, or all those like silly things that don't mean anything. They care about how you make them feel and what impression you left with the world. So that definitely, that kind of advice really helps. Least favorite thing about recovery? Probably, you know, the normal things, having to eat food, uh, having to rest. They're really hard and really challenging. And the best thing is probably just like getting your life back and just doing those little things and feeling proud of yourself. It's actually a really great feeling once you do something really challenging that you thought you could never do. Sometimes it does come with guilt, but that second when you've done something challenging and you realize I did that and I can do anything is just amazing. I just checked and my brownies are now ready to come out. It should be nice and shiny on top. Thank you all so much for baking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and please try it out. I hope you enjoy the brownies. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.